So in this video, I wanted to do a shootout between these two very popular office pens. First up, we have the Papermate Inkjoy, and I have this in the 1.0 millimeter. It's also sold in a, uh, I believe a 0.5 and a 0.7. And the Bic Crystal. This is also in the 1.0 millimeter. It's uh, sold in a 0.7 and a 1.6. Uh, this is the extra smooth. So uh, these are two definitely, uh, you know, very popular pens with the big crystal. It's, you know, just downright iconic. It's been uh, just one of the most popular pens you ever see. Uh, they're both ballpoint. Uh, I have them purposely both in black, but they're sold in a lot of different colors and uh, they're very, very, both very commonplace. So I just want to do a quick comparison and then say which one I would choose if I was making the purchase. Uh, so as far as the bodies, both are very tough, hard plastic. The Bic Crystal is, uh, if you don't, I don't know if you've ever broken one of these, but it is very resilient, but uh, when it cracks, it sort of uh, explodes, almost like a glass, uh, but it is quite tough. The, uh, and it is, shape-wise, it is hexagonal. If you can make that out, it's not quite coming. The Papermate Ink Joy, also very tough, and I haven't shatter one of these yet, but I suspect it would shatter in a similar manner. Uh, it's definitely tougher, like barely flexing. And uh, this is also available in a smoke plastic. The classic uh, crystal is a clear, but it's also sold in some other varieties. For example, here it is in a crystal in the 1.6 millimeter. The Ink Joy, quite notably, is uh, triangular. It's a it's a rounded triangle, but it is triangular. Uh, so the preference, I think, you know, most people have a strong preference for one shape or the other. Uh, I tend to go with the Bic. I like the uh, extra sides to it, but uh, triangular pens like those from Lamy and Twisby are definitely fairly popular. Uh, as for the rest of the construction goes, it's it's almost identical. They both have end caps that are difficult but not impossible to remove. And they both have ballpoint ink refills that kind of get pushed in from the end. Uh, neither of these pens are technically refillable, but if you do give it a twist, sometimes you could just pull the ink cartridge right out. Uh, I don't really know why you'd want to do that, generally speaking but it is possible. I don't, I don't know if it's, yeah, you could do it with this as well. So it is possible. And that would be more for you just tinkering around than any real reason to do it, as I don't believe refills are sold. Uh, as for the, the business ends, uh, they're both 1.0 millimeter. So if you want to like, I don't know, pause your screen and measure, you can, but they are both 1.0 millimeter here. And uh, this one, obviously the Bic has a conical end with that sort of iconic bronze or gold, whatever you would call that color. And the Papermate, the Inkjoy, has a cone, but then sort of a needle tip. Uh, and functionally, there's no real difference there. I would imagine that the Bic is technically stronger, but if you're doing something that would break this piece of metal, I would imagine the pen is gonna break anyway. As far as the caps go, very similar uh, functionally but the Papermate has a huge advantage. The, uh, the Bic has this sort of old school cap with a hole in the top, which tends to collect dust. Uh, it's got kind of sharp edges, it's kind of pointy. And while it goes on and off very well, and it holds on very well, it doesn't have any curl up here. It just sort of angles up and it has a sharp end. Plus these things get really chewed up over time. Uh, it's just a sort of junky, uncomfortable cap. It completes the look of the Bic and that, you know, has some cool angles, kind of like a jet, like a turbine type thing, especially compare, especially with the open end. It has that sort of, uh, you know, airline type shape to it. And considering this thing came from the sixties, that sort of makes sense to me. Uh, but it's not that functional with the Papermate. You have a higher quality cap. It uses, uh, clearly a, like, a uh, pebbled plastic, which is a, uh, you know, pr 
pretty pleasant. It has a sturdier clip and the clip is turned up. So if you are actually using it to put into a bag or on your pocket, it's gonna work a whole lot better. The, uh, the only downside of the Papermate clip is that it doesn't go on and off as well. Plus like, check this out, it's on securely right now. It's on more securely now, more securely now. And now it's on like really securely. So it'll keep going. And if you push it down, it'll like really keep going. And at this point, it's uh, can be a little bit hard to take off. Like I could do it with one hand, but you have to give it a good pull. And more than that, uh, pulling alone usually won't do it. You have to, if it's really pushed in, you have to give it a twist action and then it actually comes off more easily. But basically there's no definitive point where it's totally on. You can just put it on until you're confident and then you're good, it won't fall off, but you can put it on too much. As for price, I didn't really wanna to get too much into that because these things, are they're not sold on their own. Usually they're sold in big packs, like minimum of 12. I mean, you can buy them in two packs, but more often than that, people are buying them in 24 and 48 sort of packs. I think you could buy them in packs over 100 for offices. Uh, generally speaking, if you're buying in lower volumes, like consumer type volumes, the BIC, the standard BIC Extra Smooth or Crystal Extra Smooth uh, cost about, will cost about 25 cents. The Papermate uh, will cost maybe like 39, 40 cents. Again, those prices are gonna drop quite quickly as you buy larger quantities. And they're both sold in fairly similar colors. Uh, black, red, green, blue. And then the Papermate, I've seen this thing sold in also in uh, weird purples and light blues and turquoise and there's a huge variety. I do not believe the crystal sold in as many colors. So I wanna do a quick writing test. First up is the uh, Papermate Ink Joy 1.0 millimeter. And now And these are, these are like brand new pens. So I wanted to have something with a nice appearance. So they may not be writing as quickly or as well as they should do. So I've used both these pens a whole lot. I have like a, a thousand crystals and an 18 pack at least of the ink joys uh, between the two I, I think maybe you could tell the winner here but uh, the crystals not writing as well and the paper made is definitely my preference in the 1.0 millimeter so I, I think if you look around you'll see that people tend to prefer the paper made ink joy these days it's, a, it's just a smoother ballpoint uh, especially in the 1.0 millimeter size I would definitely recommend going with the paper made if you're flexible about sizing, then uh, Bic has this uh, 0.7. This is the ultra fine. And I believe this is called the, uh, the crystal uh, extra precise. So at the 0.7 millimeter, uh, I tend to go with the Bic, uh, but I think it's a toss up. At 1.0 millimeter, definitely, no doubt, you want the paper mate. If you want the smoothest possible ball ballpoint, then Bic also makes this guy, which is the Crystal Extra Bold, which is the 1.6 millimeter. And now you're getting into, uh, that one's brand new. And now you're getting into a very broad tip. And this is the Crystal 
crystal. You know what, this is actually a 0.7. I know what I did. Sorry about that, I flipped that cartridge out. Just saying, here it is. There's the, there is the 1.6 millimeter. And here we have the crystal bold. And in a later video, I'll explain why that 1.6 millimeter is not in there. But here's the full comparison. So, quick summary between the Papermate Inkjoy and the Big Crystal. Generally speaking, I gotta lean towards the Inkjoy. And that's just because most people want the pen in a 1.0 millimeter, and Papermate clearly has the better 1.0 millimeter. If you want the small size, the 0.7, I would say it's a toss up at that point. Uh, probably go with Papermate but uh, either one's good. If you want my pick or the bold, then get the crystal bold 1.6 millimeter. Uh, I really do enjoy writing with these things. It's just a fun pen and you're just like putting down a really thick bold line. Uh, and that's why I tend to buy crystals over ink joys, but I know this isn't a completely practical pen for everyone. So that's it. Sorry it took so long. Thanks for watching.